Okay. Let's take another look at this place. What is this? Another human visit to, visit to our land? This is most unusual. Have you too come to speak with our elder chieftains? Alright, here we go. Yeah, they, they did say you'd have a tough time telling us apart. I feel like there must be subtle differences. Just trying to see if there's some funky shaped treasure chests around here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Let's start talking to... Oh, Gareth Elder. Oh. Okay, well... Ah, you other humes our war chief saw on the plains. Welcome to our village, protected by the clear flow of the Sagot. I am Supinelu's brother, Kadalu. I worry, for Supinelu often goes to the plains alone. Why, when the others would surely wish to train with him? He is stubborn this way. Your pardon, I spoke of a personal matter. Please forget it. You have business with the elders, yes? On you go. They're so well spoken. What is it, human child? Have you something to ask this wizened man? Ah, you wish to know of the Nethersite. It is a word I hear quite often of late, though I know not why, nor do I know anything of this stone. So too did I tell the human child who asked me before. I'm sorry. Ask another of the elders. Perhaps they will know. Very well, sir. So I don't think there's any value in asking guys who are labelled as being warriors, but... You seem a great warrior, but it's best you avoid Zertin and Caverns. There are many fell creatures there, and of late, worse. A fiend with strange powers has been seen. Perhaps this is why the other violent creatures there have grown yet more violent. So there's an, there's an optional Esper in there, and he's uh, he's pertaining to that. So, But like I said, I think it's, uh, it's around level 39 based on my notes, so... Probably not a good idea to head in there right now. Not even over 25 with anyone yet. Gareth Herder. Gareth Elder. You have the look of one who wishes to know something. If it is something that I know, good. Ah, the Nethersite. You are not the only one who has asked me about this. It saddens me to admit that I know nothing of this stone. Magicite contains within it a great power. Thus we have worshipped the stones from the beginning of time. Yet I had never heard of this Nethersite. Perhaps the High Chief knows something of this. If you have not spoken with him yet, go. He will be with Geomancer Yugelu. Okay. Now, I think... I think it's in the next area that I have the... Um, the hunt. The petitioner for the hunt. War chief. Gareth warrior. Can I just go straight through? Beyond here lies the hill where sits the great chief. Those from the outside are not welcome here. So I've got to speak to someone who's going to let me through. Then you must meet with the great chief. I would like to meet this great chief. Yes, it is true. The great chief may know something that would aid you. Yet arranging an audience may be quite difficult. I must learn more about the Nethersite. I cannot turn back now. Please, tell your great chief that I am of the royal line of Dalmasca, a direct descendant of Dine's king Wraithwall. If the Gareth have passed down knowledge of the stones, they must know of the Nethersite that the Dine's king once held. Do you have proof of your, of your heritage? I... I do not. Hmm. I have looked into your eyes and seen that you speak the truth, Hume Child. I give you my trust. The Great Chief is ahead, across this bridge. That's what I'm talking about. Again, I know I keep saying it, and I will probably say it on occasion, but some scenes just feel like they really needed that little bit of voice acting. I wish for the remaster they could have got, like some extra voice acting there somehow. Called some of the people back and tried to get them to sound as, as close to their original voice as they did. It would have been nice. Even for, like, some of the stuff, not all of it. Can't talk to any of these guys. Except for these. Low Chief. And the Gareth Elder. Now, 
let me take a look at this clan primer. It was seven, I believe. Yes, the low chief. Okay, let's chat to him. <laughs> Bit of a shitty title, right? You, you have seen that. You have seen the bill posted for the Enkelados. Hmm. I had wondered what sort of person would come, but never did I expect. No, no matter. It is nothing. You are truly here to hunt my mark. Truly. Good, good. Even if you are a child. Pay me no mind. All elderly are as I am. Slow to trust. Let me explain the situation. You know the Osmond Plain. You must have passed through here at least once. A very valuable herb grows there. Yet, the Enkelados, it tramples my precious herbs to dust. Oh, as you can see, I'm quite agitated. Normally, the warriors of this village would vanquish it for me. But this time, well, suffice it to say I need you to do this. The Enkelados can be found on the eastern edge of the Osmond Plain. It is often seen in the shred, I am told. Warrior Semu knows much of this creature. When you leave this knoll, you will find him standing guard at the bridge. Talk to him there. Now go. I, will tr I trust you will do this for me and return safely. Okay, I can do this as well, but first let me talk to... Like, the main man himself. <laughs> chilling. Straight chilling. Oh, a Hume child. This is most unusual. You seem quite burly for one so young. We are old here, and you may find our village lacks the excitement you crave, but sometimes it's better to move slowly. Yeah, de not definitely not the most exciting village I've ever been to. That's a chest. Pheasant Netsuke. The fuck is that? Ooh, improves the potency of restorative items. Accessories 11 is needed. Wow. So where's this old elders, this chief guy's tent or whatever it is, TP? Gareth Youth. Ah, Hume Child, I'm surprised to see you here. This hill is called the Elder Null. Here does the Great Chief hold council with the other elders. We Gareth welcome outsiders to our village, but very few, but few are they who are allowed here. You must be on important business indeed. Indeed I am, but um I think we're at the end here. I mean, is there a requirement here that I've spoken to every single um, potential Gareth. There we go. The great chief is ahead. Will you meet with him? Meet with the great chief. Please be voice acted. Please. I'm sure these guys have interesting voices. This Nethysite. You have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of Nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. 
Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. It will be your posterity who will the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst. A terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic, of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> Larsa? My boy Larsa. That was a cheesy little grin when he first appeared. To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasais. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Dalmasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Dalmasca and stop Marquis Ondor. For peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. <sighs> Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. Before. I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How can he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different for Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. 
I was just... I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find him. So that was Vaughn's first real moment, I would say, in this entire story. I will accompany you to Mount Baromises. I had hoped you'd say yes. I am glad. My heart is not set. I still have questions. I hope to find answers along the way. I had other reason to invite you. There is someone I'd like you to meet waiting on Baromises. Who is that? An enemy, and an ally also. You will just have to wait and see for yourself. That Larsa likes his secrets. <sighs> he does not mean ill by it. He's not bad, at least for an Imperial. Holy Mount Boromises stands at the northern end of the Yagd Ramuda. Once we're in Yagd, we need not fear pursuit by their airships. Don't get your hopes up. You remember the Leviathan sailed straight over the Yagd Yensa, right up to Raithel's tomb. Skystone that works even in Yagd. You know Nether Sight's behind it. Little wonder they're so keen on the stuff. And what is it you're after, Balthier? You're a welcome hand and a great aid, but why? Worried I'm out to steal the Nethersite, eh? Can't say I'm unaccustomed to people doubting my intentions. Nothing could be further from my mind. Shall I swear by your sword or some such? Apologies. But I needed to know where you stand. Her Majesty depends on you. And you seem to have an interest in the stone. I'm only here to see how the story unfolds. Any self-respecting leading man would do the same. <laughs> Alright, so we've got Larsa joining the party as a guest, which is brilliant. Penelo's going to have some help. So, you will leave. Take this as a token of our parting. Kill a bow and equip with onion. Okay, nice. If you would ride a chocobo, you may. I have spoken with the Moogle. She would not charge you for your first use of the chocobos. Excellent. Ch take care on the road ahead. Should it lead back to our land, we are, you are welcome guests. Spirits of the land watch over you. Thanks, bro. I like these guys, man. They're really cool. Okay, so I'm back at the entrance to the Osmite Plane. So that was some interesting stuff happening there. Vaughn had his first real, like, you know, leading man type scene, I guess. I mean, even though, I mean, we've already spoken about this a few times, I feel like even though he is kind of, he is technically the protagonist, it, he doesn't really, he's not really a conventional protagonist in that sense. It really is Asher's story, but still, um, that scene that he had, I mean, they were like, it seemed to be shot very romantically, but for some reason I just can't see like a romance between Ash and Vaughn. It just, it just doesn't look, they just don't look right to me, but maybe that's just me. I don't, I don't ship it, so I don't know, maybe some people really love that combination, but it just, for me, it just it seems a bit silly. So I felt like the scene between them was a little bit overly kind of romantic under the twinkling stars and the full moon and that kind of thing. I'm not so sure about that. But then again, Ash has a bit of a weird taste, like... Um, Razzler just looks like he looks a lot younger than her to me he just looks like a, a kid 
I don't know, like, Bosch is a lot more charismatic looking, and obviously Balthier is just a cool dude anyway. But also, uh, I like the way he actually spoke about his intentions. It was the first time he really, we actually learned something about Vaughn, like the way, you know, he's been running ever since his brother's death, and this was a way for him to kind of escape things. So that's something I didn't really mention in the previous part when I was talking about why is Vaughn on this journey. I mean, he pretty much tells us himself, which is kind of cool. And Balthea, he's uh, he started off kind of not caring too much, but now he seems to have become a lot more invested in things. Why is it really as simple as he makes it sound? He just wants he just wants to know how the story unfolds, like any self-respecting leading man would. I'm not so sure. Maybe there there's got to be something more to it than that, but we'll have to see. Let me sell this last bit of loot that I've got here. Might buy a few more little things for the journey ahead. Ooh, curl pelts. So the loot is going to start to get a lot more valuable as I move on. So that Goldmore jungle has some pretty valuable stuff in it. Ornate breastplate. That sounds good. I might save first in case they're crap. Let's double check these. Um, I think Ash is going to need a sword. Um, it's, ugh, the longbow is very expensive. I'm wondering if I should get... Which guns do I have? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, actually... I should sell a few of these things I have multiples of. Like I've got three choppers, which just seems stupid. Okay. I'm just thinking, how useful is it going to be for Pinello to have a gun? This is the machinist board, okay. Let's take a look. Well, we've got a Vega, I guess, so might as well use that. Okay. So let's, let's start trying to equip some of these guys with slightly different equipment. So she can use a Vega. It lowers my magic power a bit. But as far as I know, the gun's damage doesn't follow any kind of formula. So, like, when I say formula, like, it's not based on strength or anything like that. So, let's just go for it. Okay. So, yeah, I'll save here and then I'll buy the, the bizarre goods. And then I'll do this this hunt quickly, the one that I needed to do for this uh, low low chief or whatever it was called. And then we'll move on to Mount Baromises. So in that sense, I'm not really sure what what's going to happen there. I mean, Lars has got some things on his mind. He knows of the danger now, but it's a, it's a tough it's a tough solution for Ash because obviously. That's not how she wants to do it, but on the other hand, if what Lars is saying is true about his brother potentially being able to use Nethersite on Rabanaster, if this is the only way to stop it in the short run, then that's something that needs to be done. So We're not quite sure what's going on right now, but once we get to Baromasace, I think it will start to hopefully make more sense. Let's see what this is all about. That's really good value, though, I've got to say. Let me just check who can equip these. Red cap, light armor 5. 
Okay. I think Ash can start to upgrade. Yeah, about time. Okay, that's a lot better. He can equip the red cat. Okay. Nice. Okay. He's not going to be able to get Mr. Karma at any point anyway. So who has crap? Okay, the only one at the moment is... Okay, Varn's not great, but he's getting by. But the only person who's really struggling at the moment is Bash. So I think I need to buy Bash some, uh, some armor here. Uh, let me just check his license boards. Wow, he's got a lot of LP, so I should be able to buy... I'm just double-checking which one I can buy from the shop. I can only buy... I can buy these two. Okay. So I could definitely get Heavy Armor 4 here. Alright, cool. Ah, would have been nice if I could have got that. Increase the strength and HP is full. I want to get these to really explode him in terms of HP. Okay, let's go for the nice armor here. Yes. So now when we take a look. The person with the worst defense and magic resistance is Vaughn. But he's got decent HP so he can kind of make up for it. Let's have a look at his... Yeah, he can get a hold of that straight away. So straight away we can get this, which will give us some more speed. Light armor 5. Okay. Mm, not bad, it's a little bit better. Okay, we'll have to make do with this for now. And we can give him a better shield soon as well. All right, I think I'm happy with this uh, with this selection here. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs>